Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you coming by to the channel. And, and want to send a shout out to all the subscribers out there because, I mean, you guys are killing it out there. I mean, I'm at 162 as of uh, right now, today. And I think that's awesome, man. I just appreciate you guys so much coming to the channel, getting over my code, getting subscribers. It seemed like everything's just lining up so well. So I, I just want to send my appreciations out there to everyone for coming to the channel and being part of the discussion. And we got a lot of great discussions, man, that I want to do a video on. And and just, just so much. I appreciate so much uh, the love and the response uh, to the videos because I think that some of the things that we're talking about in the comment section needs to be talked about so just want to send a shout out and ask you if you're new here uh, to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're making great discussion and that's how we do this we do this by discussion so that we can raise awareness about what's going on and what's really going on <laughs> but uh Today I want to talk about a game that I actually messed up on one of my videos and I've done in the past. Uh, I think I call it Striker. <laughs> and it just goes to show you the experience I have with this game. I don't have a lot of experience with this game. So I did a little research and from what I understand this is uh, originally a PC game. So that's probably why I'm not familiar with this game because in 2007 I was playing PC games but I was mostly a console video game player I, I didn't gravitate to PC uh, until it had its renaissance which I would say is probably around 2013 2014 when it really started to become in vogue to play on PC because of all of the, the headroom and the horsepower that you had so that's why I was not able to really get a awareness about this game because I had no idea that that stalker was ever made so but the reason why I wanted to make this video because honestly during Eve 3 I was really impressed with this game uh, as far as the presentation and stuff like that and so I decided to do some research on it and so I'm not necessarily breaking any news but I wanted to discuss this game and kind of give my perspective on it and maybe some of the back background and the situation this game is in as far as its delivery to the consoles so the big thing that I wanted to look up was was what is this game coming out on all right, what game system console is this coming out for and how is that all going to play out and so from what I understand is that first of all the release date for this game is next year April 22 which I think is probably where a game should be as far as what they show I think is coming down the pipeline pretty good uh, it seemed like they're on course because they showed some gameplay and I'm pretty sure they wanted to clean up a lot of the bugs that may be in the game so but they did show gameplay they show trailer footage and that was enough to pique my interest because clearly they are just getting rid of all the bugs and probably adding and bringing the game together and stuff like that so yeah the game looks on track as far as this presentation at E3 is concerned and but one of the things I wanted to talk about was the graphics for this game now I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and blow a bunch of smoke try to deceive you guys you know I, I think this game is more in the lane of Metro Exodus type of first person shooter. I'm not saying that it doesn't have gameplay. I was interested in some of the gameplay, especially the way you hunt and you throw out uh, kind of like uh, metal detectors or whatever uh, to, I don't know, sense the presence of the stalker. <laughs> but graphics for this game is pretty good. And that's one thing that I wanted to bring out is that the graphics are, are I, I noticed they grabbed me but the character models I'm used to looking at 
when you play character models on games like The Last of Us, and then you come to a game like this, I mean, the character models aren't good at all. I would say Resident Evil Village character models are better than this. But this is going on some type of stylized uh, presentation, so I'm not going to give it a hard time. I mean, the character models aren't bad. They're just not detailed to me. So, But they're, they're, they're acceptable. But it's the really the the monsters and the background and the, the environment that i really like i'm not gonna go into all the lighting effects and stuff like that i don't care if this game is ray traced or not but i do like the atmosphere and i'm just a sucker for like post-apocalyptic type of shooters i think that's kind of the wave right now anyway so you know bring more of that on uh having it in chernobyl is another thing that i'm very interested about i think that having it in chernobyl gives you some type of realism because <laughs> believe it or not people don't go to chernobyl <laughs> You can't go there because the radiation is still going to be there until, man, I think another thousand years, to be honest with you. <laughs> and it's a place in Russia, man. And, you know, you just heard a lot about it throughout those times in the 80s, man. So it's just it's one of those things. It kind of happened in Japan, too, except I think most of their stuff was underwater. But even then, man, I mean, it's just kind of crazy that stuff like that happens but you know putting in a video game makes it appropriate because you can do a lot of augmented type of uh, revisionist history with it so i think that's a great thing i was also interested like in the first stalker was out for pc and that game I'm not saying it's a different from this game, but if this game is anything like I think it's going to be, I mean, it seems a lot different, but one of the things that's consistent, they're still, we're in Chernobyl, and so that's a consistent thing, but I don't think that game is good. <laughs> And like I said, I never played it before, but I was looking at some gameplay from KVG and just looking at him playing it, like he didn't play it for that long. And but to be honest with you, like it was really slow paced. Like you go through a lot of RPG stuff just to get to the game. And granted that game was released in two thousand and seven, but even for then I don't think I could withstand <laughs> that much RPG. You know, not to say that, you know, it wasn't fun and and, and, and things like that. I don't really know because I never really played this game before. But this game being released on PC, it seemed more of a RPG type of game more so than an action shooter. Plus, from the shooting that I observed, like, again, I never played it before. But just looking at it on PC, it seemed like when you went in for a close shot or, or more of an accurate shot, and you go into the shoulder mode of the game. That part right there, that seemed broken. <laughs> that seemed broken because, to be totally honest with you, it just didn't seem like that that part was totally fleshed out. I mean, when he went into that shoulder mode, it just seemed like the bullets kind of like went straight through the enemy. And I, I'm not saying that that's what happened, but it, it looked that way. So I don't know. I haven't looked at the Metacritic score for Starkle 1 or anything like that. But just eyeballing the game, <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's a game that I'll play. So, but Stalker 2 seems a little bit different. That seemed like they're going to be more of a story mode to it and it's uh, supposed to be released in april of next year so hopefully that game will be more modernized and more story driven uh, there's a couple other things i want to mention this game is going to be exclusive to the xbox series consoles and the uh, xbox consoles so I, I don't know how good that is it's only going to be exclusive for three months and yeah this will be coming out for the ps5 so man i know this is going to be a fanboy thing where digital foundry compares the two consoles but i would like to say these will probably be the same of course the xbox series x is probably going to have you know more resolution but it's not going to be to the point where you can 
actually see a difference in between the two. So I'm expecting pretty much a on par presentation for both consoles. So that's kind of where I am with it. I am intrigued with this game. Chernobyl is an incredible story. <laughs> and if you don't know about the his- historic perspective of Chernobyl, I think you guys should read about that. <laughs> Uh, because uh, yeah, it's crazy anyway appreciate you coming by and keep on with the subscription this is Alpha Transformational Gaming and we are out